Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Hi guys, I was looking through all of my craft stuff because I was looking for focus. I was looking for my resin crafts. I'm just gonna move this for a moment and then when I'm ready to show you, I will bring them back. So this is a big box of resin creations that I didn't show you in my last video. Um, tons of clay creations in here. Excuse my broken nail. I am in the midst of fixing my nails. I just did a refill and I um, filed them, so that's why they look like this. I don't have any um, color gel on my nails yet, so that's why they look like that. But I just have a ton of creations here that... I found it like that's a little pop tart. I remember when I first found polymer clay on YouTube, I was obsessed with making all these tiny little creations. And so this must have been around Valentine's where I created all of these little creations. And so these can be turned into keychains or necklaces. You could even make earrings if they're small enough. But if you don't know about polymer clay, it's so much fun. It is, I wouldn't say cheap, but I would say if you get clay, you could create all of this with just a few bars. I tend to just use a little bit of clay. I don't really make huge pieces uh, like this. This was nice when I made a very long time ago. Um, so I don't tend to create huge pieces. I make very, very little, tiny pieces. I think this is a feather I tried to make. So you still see some color under my nails. I'm still not done, so excuse my nails. So anyways, guys, so cupcakes, I mean, I have... A ton of creations here that I don't exactly know what to do with and I thought to create a shop and so a shop is something that I'm thinking about I actually have been thinking about a shop for many many years I just never did it because I didn't think anybody would really pay attention I didn't think that anybody I don't, I don't want to say care because I know I have a lot of uh, viewers and people on here that love what I do and now I'm showing something completely different I think I have a bunch of viewers on here that are maybe nail based but I do do other things and so on YouTube, many, many years ago, I think about a decade ago, I started YouTube, and this is what I started to do. I started off with crafts. I think I actually started off with nail designs, actually. I did start off with nail designs, and I kind of branched off to different things. I've always been a craft lover. Um, so, I mean, I tend to create things like this, and I have, I can't tell you how many, things. like, I won't even be able to show you all this stuff. This is just little stars I created. See, so if you don't know about, I'm just going to continue to talk and show you. I don't want this video to be forever. But if you don't know about polymer clay, get into it. You could also make, I think, these creations with uh, air dry clay. I was thinking of maybe getting some more clay soon so I can make some more creations. But these are the creations I've made a very, very, very long time ago, guys. Very long time ago I made these. But you can create these yourself as well. Um, maybe you've never heard of clay or polymer clay before and you want your children to get into it and make keychains and uh, jewelry pieces for themselves. Maybe you want them to start a little business. Maybe you just want them to create pieces for your family or just for fun. Um, you can create magnets out of these. You can make earrings, necklaces. You can even make bracelets. I do have a bracelet somewhere around here, but I don't have it with me. Um, of polymer clay. So you, there's so many different options that you can do. And I mean, when I found out about polymer clay, you see that I just my the ideas <laughs> in my mind. See, these are so old. These are so old. These are like beginner beginner um look at that beginner play clay pieces i um yeah these are so old guys this is when i was just starting out play this is a bar of chocolate i actually made this mold this hershey mold with an actual piece of chocolate i still have the mold um and so this is actually how the mold comes out i wanted it to actually look like an actual piece of chocolate so it's okay that it was melted and it was you know not everything is perfect because what piece of chocolate is perfect so i made a charm out of this but i still have the mold and i think that would be a cool resin piece to make actually but yeah but this is clay you can hear it's solid um i was looking at these pieces yesterday because i knew that i was going to make this video today you can actually add color to your polymer clay pieces as well this is actually eyeshadow this eyeshadow that i rubbed onto the polymer clay before i baked it baked it and then this is what i have um but you can go ahead and gloss these so that they are protected really don't think I would be able to show you everything in this just one video or in this one video but many many pieces I have created before guys many of you have actually the 
the people or the viewers on my channel that um, remember seeing all these creations probably don't even watch my channel anymore. Um, maybe they do, maybe they don't. But I, I did realize that a lot of the people like eight, seven, eight, nine years ago are not um, active on YouTube anymore. So I wanted to show my new viewers um, what I have done in the past. And if that's something that you want me to continue, I will. Now I just have all, the all these creations that I have absolutely no idea what to do with. And so that's why I thought maybe making an online shop would be ideal. So I'm thinking of taking these pieces and coating them in a really thin coat of resin. I like the gloss, but I want these pieces to last a really long time and be really, really sturdy. They're sturdy as you can hear, but I want them to be even more sturdier. These are little quiet clouds that I made. This one doesn't have anything on it yet, but um, a little bow. I think I made this mold as well. I don't know, guys. There's just so much in here. Little gummy bear clay pieces. So yeah, anyways. Um, so this is actually um, a real salt. Some of the little mummies that I made around Halloween time one year, a very long time ago. So guys, my point is, is that um, you can make so many things with this clay stuff. And if you don't know about polymer clay, get to know about it because you can make so many different creations like this with polymer clay. And you can just bake them for a few minutes and, and then you have a piece. So, if you have any questions or comments or anything that you'd like to ask me or anything, maybe there's tips and tricks you'd like to add below, please make sure that you do that. Okay, so we're going to get into my resin pieces that I found. Please let me know if you'd like to go in more, or if you'd like for me to go in kind of more depth into my clay creations, because I know there's a lot in here and a lot in my other bins that I didn't really show you. So let me know if you'd like for me to kind of make a video of all of my creations. I don't know if I'll be able to, how long that would be, but I'll try my best. So let me know down below if you'd like a video of kind of all of my clay creations. Okay, so here... I have my clay creations. Now, many of you have seen these clay creations before, so I'm sorry if this is just, you're hearing this again, I apologize, but I'll just move this over a little bit. Here are my clay creations, okay? Um, there are a bunch in here. I'm not going to go through everything. I have done this video quite a few times before. I have done this video, I think, recently, more recent, but I have a bunch of resin pieces that I need to domes some of them are thicker some of them i might turn into magnets keychains for sure so there's a bunch of pieces that i need to um, finish see when i first started resin i made pieces a little bit thick because i didn't really know what i was doing but um, a lot of these pieces can still be saved i think recently i'm like what am i going to do with them um but a lot of them can be i did start to Kind of file down the sides and sand them so that they're not as sharp as you can see i have a little bit more to of work to do there i love the clear butterfly i could kind of add to the back another layer maybe white or something so the colors pop or just more clear so that i can have more of a you can see it's shiny but i still need another layer because i feel a little bit of glitter and things um, but this would be a beautiful resin not a resin it is a beautiful resin piece but it would be a nice keychain it would be a cool necklace too if i could get some eye screws in here and make a necklace out of it that'd be cool I have a bunch of butterflies here that I could create necklaces with I don't want this video to be super rushed this one I still have to work on as you can see this one was like in the super beginning when I was first learning about resin and I got resin on the front but that's okay I can still save it I think I just need a lot of filing and then I have these two really really beautiful pieces I just need to do something with them so again I was thinking of creating an online resin shop is this something that you guys would be interested in please please do me a favor and let me know down below if this is something that you're interesting in, interested in I'm looking forward to finishing up these pieces and making a business um, from what I have here I am going to show you something in a few minutes that you will be excited about um, and that I'm very, very excited about I'm continuing on um, this journey I'm getting back into resin um, if you didn't know I'm not sure if I said that but I'm getting back into resin and I'm very very excited about it I did stop for a little bit because I had a little bit of a scare I would always be protected from wearing masks and everything but I think one time it just kind of slipped through and I didn't feel very well after but I was okay I didn't have to like, go to the hospital or anything I was fine I just needed air um, but make sure that you are in a space that can be very well ventilated mask gloves um, I heard that a medical mask is not really 
going to protect you, but I guess it's better than nothing. So just make sure that you're wearing something. I would probably say that a ventilator would be the best bet. I don't have one. I'll probably look into one. Um, but make sure that you always have a window open and something protecting your eyes as well. So these are just wood pieces that I found at Joanne's or Amazon. And as you can see, they are coated with, let's see if I can show you, resin. You see it's very shiny. So these are two fairy pieces that I did a very long time ago and I decided to coat them in resin. What I'm going to do with them now, I have no idea. But they can be turned into something. But I wanted to show you them again because they came out really, really cute. I do think that I'm going to dome these two pieces again. And I do have several other wood pieces that I can create more um, creations out of. But this is these are very old pieces, guys, that I'm showing you guys these. Just so if there's two people that or people that don't know that I created things like this, I just wanted to um, just show you guys. So this is what I created a very long time ago. I'm going to put those to the side. So, I, I mean, I have, and then I have pieces that have yellowed, like these. So, pieces that have yellow, yellowed, like this, I, I don't know if I just didn't mix it well, or just the resin got really old, but I'm definitely going to keep pieces like this, because if you don't know, resin is really expensive. I'm not going to throw them away. They are perfectly, I don't know if you can see, but on the top, if my camera would focus, on the top, you can see that resin is beautifully layered. There's no bubbles or anything. Um, so... It's a, I mean, for a magnet, maybe for my refrigerator, I think it would be fine. I just need to make sure that I coat the back, maybe sand it and then coat the back. So I want to save pieces like this. I don't really want to get rid of them. And then, you know, I can have them for samples or something if somebody wanted to see work that I do. I'm just going to grab a bunch of pieces. See that little bubble right in the center? I can fill that up and put a rhinestone right over it. It'll be fine. This is a hand-painted cheetah print piece that I made with some Perlex powders that I still have to file in dome, as you can see. But the front is perfectly fine, as you can see. This piece took me so long. I did it in several layers, as you can see. It's a little thick, but I can definitely go back and sand. This might be a good coaster. I could dome it. It would be an awesome coaster. This is one of my favorite pieces. So much depth to this piece guys i'm hoping that my camera's doing these pieces justice actually i think a couple of these pieces would be great as coasters because you see how thick they are this one for sure definitely coaster but i have to sand the back and then it would be a great coaster because i have so many stickers too i have an incredible amount of stickers that i had from when I resined back years and years and years ago. Turtles are my favorite. Those bubbles are intentional. They are intentional. I did them on purpose. Because it is a water, you know, beach, ocean themed piece. So I made bubbles on purpose, which is actually something that you don't really want to have in your resin. Another piece that yellowed, but I love it so much that I don't want to get rid of it. It actually kind of adds to the effect of like kind of magical unicorn but i am definitely going to you see how the back got messed up i'm going to sand that and maybe dome it this actually would be another great coaster or something i'll figure it out i'm just going to show these to you like this another hand painted piece cheetah prints domed in the back i just have to sand same thing with this one got to fix it up a little bit this is a little gumball machine same thing domed on the back I just need to sand a little bit more. These two are dried flowers. Really beautiful pieces I have. I do have to say I've made some really gorgeous pieces. Not all of them were perfect or came out nicely or at least that you're not or at least, excuse me, half decent. Um, but I have a lot of pieces guys. I don't think that this video was going to be long enough for me to show you everything. Another hand painted piece. This is hand painted by me. This is not sticker or vinyl or anything. Hello Kitty. Need to dome it, need to sand it. Really cute. I love this piece. This piece came out really, really cute. Super cute. A couple of other really thick pieces that I'm definitely going to make probably coasters out of because they're way too thick to do anything with. Look at that. Look how thick that is. That's crazy. So much resin. Look at that. But this is when I was just learning. So definitely sand. This one's domed. I just need to sand it a little bit. Um, this one is not domed, but so it needs to be domed and sanded. But cute, right? They're, I mean, they're cute pieces. It's just, I need to finish them. This one is a really cute Hello Kitty piece, but 
look at that huge bubble right there, which I can fill in and put a rhinestone over and it'll be fine. There's a little bubble right there and I can put another rhinestone right there. Just need to film it. Sand. There's a Halloween piece. Actually, this piece. Not huge into Halloween, but I do like making Halloween pieces just because it's fun. But there's a couple of uh, bubbles here as well, as you can see. But this background actually glows in the dark. More really thick pieces. Look how thick that one is. Super cute. Um, but definitely think I will make something out of them. This one needs to be, I feel it a little rough. This one needs to be glazed, domed on the back, but it just needs to be sanded and kind of glazed on the front. Beautiful unicorn piece. Are those bubbles or is that part of the sticker? I think it's part of the sticker. So, cool pieces, guys. Just need to figure out what to do with them. There's a spoon that I added resin to. I mean, the possibilities for resin is is endless. You can do so many different things. Here's a butterfly piece. I'm going to show you as much as I can, guys. Popsicles that I made. This is actually real popsicle sticks. I just have to finish up in there. This one yellowed a little bit. As you can see, the resin is yellow. And I don't know if that's because it's just old or I just didn't mix well. Not sure. But I, d I didn't want to toss them away and throw them away because resin is not cheap. So... Look at that, a little thick, needs a sand and dome, but still a really cute piece, right? I like the way that I added the glitter. Very old, learned from my mistakes now that I'm looking at them. And for years I looked at my pieces and I was like, wow, I should've did this, I should've did that. Eiffel Tower, just have to sand it. This was actually a soap mold, I think it was. Strawberry, real strawberry leaves inside. This would be cute in the kitchen. I made another strawberry, but I made it with a pink background. I don't know why I did that, but yeah. I have Definitely, guys, so many resin pieces um, that I can create into something to sell. I just need to sand that off. I want to add these to my shop. Obviously, fix them up. Make sure that they are good to go. There's a little ice cream cone. So, yeah. So, the point is, is I wanted to show you this because I used to be huge into resin. I feel like I have more pieces. I feel like I have many pieces that I, I don't know if I'm missing them or, I know that I gave some away, I know I tried to, these are um, to friends, I gave some away to friends, two more hand painted pieces, cheetah print, I hand painted the cheetah print, resin is so much fun, these are actually real sprinkles, okay, so again, the possibilities are endless. Okay, these are stickers. You can buy stickers to put in your resin with an ice cream cone. So, okay, so the point is, is that I got things in the mail today and I ordered a few days ago. I'm gonna probably organize this again, but I'll get back into this box. Uh, you'll see in a minute why I brought this box out so that I can start working on these pieces before I start making new pieces. Okay, so in the next clip, you will see what I have to show you. Okay, so today, from Amazon. Two different packages it came in. So I'm just going to show you everything at once, but this came in two different packages. I got me some pressed flowers, which I didn't have. I think I have a little bit of dried flowers left, but I don't have any pressed flowers. These sit really nicely in the resin. I watched a ton of videos with people using pressed flowers, so I'm really excited for this. I'll leave the prices and all the information in the description below, so make sure to check that out, okay? then together and i know this came in a kit so i think all of this came together in one that's why it came in two separate packages i know that i bought resins separately and then these kits kind of came together so there are let me open this for you guys this came so fast i think in just a few days so in here there are stuff for keychain making. So I have, which is what I really needed so bad, are these eye screws. These are the what can turn your pieces into jewelry, guys, so you need these. Eye pins and eye screws are very, very different. These are eye screws. You can see they're very, very thick, and eye pin is much, much smaller too uh, for your little polymer clay creations. You want to put something like this into resin because it's sturdier. So these are called eye screws. Now, I really, really like these, and it's funny because I ordered some of these separate. These are, don't remember what they're called. <laughs> I don't remember what they're called for the moment, but they are little rings to, and they already come open so that you can attach them to the rest of your pieces. You would probably attach it to here, and then you would put one of these on and then add your 
your necklace and your piece. So there are a few in here, but I added me some more, or I ordered me some more, not added, ordered me some more, so that I could have some more, because I didn't have any of these. I didn't know that these were gonna come really thick and strong like that, so I'm excited about these. And then I just have two bags of key rings right here, very, very sturdy. And these are these little key chain little clamps and they just look like this there's a little part on the end that you could um, hook the all of the other parts to but this just opens just like this and I like that it's nice and strong you heard that so there are many pieces in here I don't know how many pieces come in each and I'm not going to count them right now but I will make sure that I will leave that down below okay so make sure that you check that out and then also in this package there's another package here I have here another baggie of findings. So I'm just going to show you all together. I, even more eye screws, this time smaller, really, really tiny gold, which I really wanted. So now I have gold and silver, and I have more really sturdy silver pieces here. So these are all eye screws, guys. You definitely want this when you're making resin crafts for sure. And then I got some more rings here. Now I have gold and silver, so that'll match with the eye screws. Perfect, and these have weight to them, so that's good. They're nice and thick, nothing thin at all. I don't like those really thin rings because those bend and tend to break and they're not very sturdy. I want all of my findings to look very, very um, sturdy and well-made. I don't want anything looking, you know, not well-made. So in this bag here, in this bag here, we have more keychain findings, except we have gold and we have silver. And I really wanted this kit specifically. I was looking at all of the parts that came in with this kit, but I like it because it comes with a couple pieces of chain link already attached to it. So you would add, you would have your keychain like this. You would add your eye screw to your resin piece or your clay jewelry piece. You would add your split ring. I think that's what it's called, split ring. So you would connect this to there. To the bottom and then add your jewelry on it i'm trying to figure out i, I want kind of like a piece that's gonna you always want a piece that's always going to set you aside from the rest so there are so many people that are doing resin these days um which is great because i'm loving to see that it's coming back but there are so many different ways that you can do this guys and i want to provide tips and tricks and provide links where you guys can get this stuff because I want you guys to create along with me if you don't know about resin um, also if this is something new for you this might help you as well so this is a handheld what am I trying to say a handheld file not a file it's to make um, holes in the jewelry I don't have one of these so I'm hoping that this works also in this kit is a mold that I've been wanting for a very long time. Here it is, and it does say on the plastic that it, excuse me, I shut the camera, that it is a reversed alphabet number. So I'm hoping, can you guys see it? Reverse, there you go. So I was seeing a lot of people were hoping that their mold came reversed. Supposedly, this is reversed, but why is it stuck together? Oh, my goodness do you guys see this do you see this hey let me get this apart okay i'm not sure why that was stuck together like that but that was not good i was hoping that i wouldn't ruin it this is the front so yes it is reversed so this is good so that i can work this way and then i wouldn't have to do so much filing and i love it because these aren't huge i didn't want a really big letter so these are perfect they're a little thick but not as thick as i think most letter molds are out there this is exactly the thickness that I wanted. Not very thick at all. I see a lot of chunky letters out there. I think this is perfect for what I wanted. So yes, I am going to be making letter resin creations very soon, and I'm definitely going to be creating a shop. As you saw, all the pieces that I had, now I have new stuff, I have a new mold. I definitely have older molds that I can still use. Just a few more things. Can't do resin without resin, guys. So this is by Dr. Crafty. This is eight ounce two bottles casting and coating epoxy resin 
Again, I got all this stuff on Amazon, so I will make sure that I will leave all the information in the description below. Just going to show you. Looks like this comes with a little beaker, but it's not silicone, which I want to look into because, yeah, that's definitely plastic. I want to look into these silicone ones, which I thought that this kit came with, but we're going to, there's still more of the kit that we have to open, so. Inside, there's a free product, it says, which is awesome. So if you guys get this resin, inside there is a free product. There are wooden stick stirs in there. Pigment mica powder. Okay, I guess if you write back to them to thank you, they want to send a free product that will perfectly complement your purchase. So I will definitely look into that for sure. For sure. So... In here comes little popsicle sticks. This looks like a scraper. And there's some information in here. 